Hello guys, in this video we will see Postgres SQL backup types and tools used for the backup or restore. Okay, see backup tools in Postgres SQL are pg dump and pg dump underscore all, pg underscore base backup. The first two are the logical backups and the last one is the physical backup. Okay, so we will see the each tool. pg dump is the logical backup tool and it is used to backup of a single database at a time. But it can also be used to take one or more tables backup of a database. Backups taken using pgdump are not useful for point in time recovery. That is PITR. And this is the syntax pg underscore dump then hyphen h. You can give hostname at the IP address. Then port number. Then username. Then database name. Then caps f format. Formats we have the plain and compressed. Okay. But if you take plain text format we have to use the psql to restore the database backup taken by using compressor that is hyphen c those can be restored by using pg underscore restore tool okay and this is the example pg underscore dump then hyphen this is the host name port number username this is the database name you see here hyphen caps p p is means plain text format if you want custom format or com if you want compressor format you have to use the c then FNF, then FNF means file name. This is the file name, or you can use the greater than symbol. Okay. Next, this is all about pg underscore dump. Next, pg underscore dump all. It is used used to dump all databases into a single dump file. Also, it is used to take backup of only globals. Globals means users and table spaces. Users are roles and table spaces by using hyphen z flag. And this is the syntax and these are the examples. See, if you don't give the hyphen G, it means it takes globals and databases. If you give hyphen G, it takes only globals. That, that Those are nothing but the usernames and table spaces. So next is pg underscore base backup. pg underscore base backup is used to backup of cluster. Also, it is used for both point in time recovery and as starting point for the log shipping or streaming replication standby server. See, this is the syntax and the hyphen d means backup directory okay and this is the example we will see the examples now we are going to perform the actions on both windows and linux operating system see i have connected to my linux operating system first see whether we have the pg underscore dump library is there or not let us verify pg underscore dump hyphen hyphen l underscore see we have the these options so dump dumps a database as a text file or to other formats and these are the options and this is the usage okay we have the different options control l to play screen if you want to get more information you have to go to this push post sql dot org control l now see for the options for the pg underscore dump all hyphen hyphen help okay these are the options in the same way if you want to see the base backup op options Base backup. See here, it takes base backup of the running PostgreSQL server cluster, and these are the options. See, pg data that is a directory. If you don't know the uh, where these tools or binaries exist, you can go to the cd user ls cd pg sql ls cd bin. In this bin directory, it's there. Those are there. See here, we have the pg underscore dump, pg underscore dump, pg underscore dump all, and pg underscore base backup. Okay, we have all these three tools, and we have the pg underscore restore. This is used use to restore the backup taken by using pg underscore dump, and psql is the tool used to restore the databases. Now we will see how to take backup of. So first, switch to. Postgres is on SU Postgres. I'm going to show you how to take first verify list of the databases. Forward slash. See, I have after schools database. So I'm going to take backup of this database by using pg underscore dump q2 bit. pg underscore dump then hyphen h localhost then d hyphen hyphen u provide the username hyphen d then provide the database name that which we are going to take backup hyphen f 
fp if you don't give hyphen fp it will be the plain text format if you give the hyphen c then it will compressor format okay so i want i am going to take plain text format then hyphen f or give the greater than symbol both will work hyphen f then provide the file name then hit enter then provide the password of the postgres user ls hyphen ltr it is done see this is the backup file if you want to see more info what the text is there in this file give the more then paste it hit enter see small database so it completed in less time control it to clear screen if you want to restore it you have to delete the database and you have to restore it let me delete it see it is very small database i am going to rename the database and create the database this type of so i create database of this course not only this you can give any database name so exit restore by using it is plain text format so use the psql if it is compressed format you have to use the pgn score restore so hyphen host local host hyphen d after scores hyphen u postgres then hyphen f the file name that is after schools and hit enter then provide the password of the user see copy it see these are the actions that performed to connect to it slash l see we have the after schools and it contains data if you go to the after schools database slash dt see we have the students table okay so this is the way to take backup and restore by using the pg underscore dump right now we will see the pg underscore dump all this command is same pg underscore dump all then hyphen u hyphen h localhost hyphen u provide the username hyphen here no need to provide the database name because it is going to take all database at a time hyphen f then dump all provide the date dot sql hit enter then provide the password of the postgres user for each database we have to provide the password see it is done ls hyphen ltrh see dump is completed and its size is 7.1 See, its size is only 7.1 kb because this is a fresh db for you it may be more maybe it mean maybe the dump size in gigabytes or terabytes okay if you want to restore you have to use the psql then hyphen h then we have to for you the all the commands if you want only take backup of globals just give hyphen z then give the dump globals then provide the password ls hyphen ltrh if you go to the globals file and back of file you wait more see we have the only users information see we have only users information okay for more postgres equal server videos please subscribe my channel thank you